Welcome to the video lecture on switch debouncer. In this video, we will learn how to eliminate the effects of contact bounce using SR latch. At this point of time, I understand that we have already seen the video on contact bounce from ENG classes. If not, kindly pause this video here and come back again after learning contact bounce. Right. If I ask what do you mean by switch debouncer, to answer that it is a circuit that is used to eliminate the effects of contact bounce. Now we will draw the switch debouncer circuit. This is point A. This is point B and now this is center contact of the switch which is connected to supply V volts. And here I have SR latch. This is output Q. This is output Q bar. And here I have got one pull down resistor. And here I have got one more pull down resistor. Later I'll explain in detail why do you need these pull down resistors. When I make the center contact of the switch to move from point B to point A, suddenly it doesn't happen. It takes some time to move from point B to point A. Now let us assume that it is somewhere halfway through, somewhere here. At this point of time, point A and point B both are neither connected to V volts nor connected to zero volts. Now they are at high impedance state. That is where we need these two pull down resistors. They'll pull high impedance state to zero volts. Now point B is at one volts and point A is at zero volts. So we will have R as 1 and S as 0. In this case the latch is reset. So we will have 0 and 1 at the output. When center contact of the switch starts moving from point B to point A and because of these two pull down resistors we will have 0 and 0 at S and R. When both the inputs to S and R are 0 that means the current state is maintained. There won't be any change at the output. When center contact of the switch reaches point A, S will become 1 and R will become 0. In this case the latch is set. So we will have 1 and 0 at the output. Because of contact bounds, the center contact doesn't stay at point A. It again starts coming down. As we have two pull down resistors, again the inputs to S and R is 0, 0. That means the current state is maintained. So again there won't be any change at the output. So the steady state of the output is maintained. Even though there is contact bounce, but because of the use of this SR latch, its effects are eliminated. For the better understanding, here I have drawn the timing diagrams. This is the voltage at point A and this is the voltage at point B. In this scenario, I haven't used any latch and hence we can clearly see the effects of contact bounce, both at point A and at point B. 
In the next scenario, I have used the SR latch and this is the output of the SR latch. And if you can observe closely, the effects of contact bounds are clearly eliminated and hence we are getting a steady output.